In the video for today, I'm going to show you the latest method to track a lost or stolen phone. This method works worldwide and for any type of a device, maybe Android or Apple, not a problem. So let's make this simple, quick and easy so that we can try and get your phone back as much as possible. So the first thing is what you need to do is get hold of a laptop or a PC. So maybe you could get to a cyber cafe nearby or you could get hold of your laptop or your friend's laptop, whatever it is. All you need to ensure is that it is connected to the internet, okay? So as soon as you get hold of a laptop, get to google.com and type in find my device. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to just track your phone on Google find my device and that's it, no. I'm gonna show you a new technique with which find my device is utilized and you could get your phone back. There's a higher probability that you actually find your device. So this is gonna be your first step, obviously, once you type that in out here, find my device, click on the first suggestion by Google, and this is going to take you to a page on which your phone is going to be traced on Google Maps live. Okay, all you need to do is just log in with the same email address which was on your Android device that was lost or misplaced. So find my device is only going to work for Android devices. So if you have an iPhone, not a problem. I'm going to show you also in this video itself how to track your phone. So just stick with me till the end. So once you have located your Android device through Google Maps on find my device, you could click on that specific icon out here. It's going to show you a pin. You could do that. And once you click on that icon, you're going to be directed to a page in which you could see the exact coordinates for your phone. You could also save this data on your PC or you could check for nearby places to locate the phone or you could also go ahead and send this information for your coordinates to your email address directly okay so these are the facilities that are as an upgrade on uh, find my device so you could quickly get to this location and try to see if your phone is there if you get your phone well and good if you do not i'm very much sure you would have utilized two other methods to ensure that your phone is not misplaced so the first method is to set a password to your phone to switch it off. So these days, most smartphones come with this security feature in which you need to set up a password when you are setting up your phone in the beginning. So what happens is that whenever your phone is misplaced or lost or stolen, if somebody tries to switch off your phone to make it untraceable, they are not able to switch it off. And by the time you could actually track the device and you could get your phone back. Apart from that, another method to get your phone back is through security applications. So if you may have installed a tracking application like Hammer, for instance, you could easily trace your phones so through hammer there is a facility for a fake shutdown so even if you do not have a password for your phone to shut it down hammer security is going to show or do a fake shutdown whenever somebody finds your phone and tries to shut it down so it's going to be a fake shutdown but it's going to be online so how this is going to work with hammer security app is that if somebody finds your phone and they switch it off, it's going to be a fake shutdown. It's not going to be a real shutdown, but it is still going to be online, but they are not going to realize it. So what's going to happen is that you could actually trace your phone through maps and get to the location and get your phone back. For This even works for Apple iPhones. So you could also log into your account with Hammer Security and also trace your phone online on maps with Hammer Security. This is going to give you almost the same information like Google Find My Device. So by doing these things, you could definitely get your phone back Take care, my friend.